Hello, this is James Marlowe. It's the 23rd of January 2012. Time is 18.32. Good evening. A little earlier tonight, as my more regular viewers will know. Um, thinking of today is I'm thinking of my application for a school. Now, I know what you're thinking, James, why are you applying to a school? Your PGC is in post-compulsory education. Surely an FE college or adult education is far more suited to, um, to your speciality. And well, you'd be right. But because of the changes that Michael Gove brought to um, qualified teacher status, um, I can now apply at schools, so I bloody am. And what I'm thinking about is this, this one school which I'd really like to work at. Not because I'm particularly in love with the school, its ethos, or its scholarly rigour. Or is it vigour? See, that would lose me the interview. I think I could use either, actually. It's none of those. It's because it's in the centre of Norwich, and I want to be in Norwich, so I want to apply for that school. Simples. Now, this is an independent school, and um, I don't really have a lot of dealings with independent schools because I'm a comprehensive boy, and I'm fully comprehensive. Uh, like my knowledge of words, like rigor and vigor. So, being a fully comprehensive boy, fully comp. It's going to be a bit odd if I get an interview there. I won't know whether to use my normal voice and be like the bit of rough that the teachers might like. Not in a sexual way. I mean, just like, oh, look at him. He's a bit, he's a bit poor. Oh, what a novelty. Like um, having a black policeman in the 1970s, that kind of thing. Or whether I should put on my Hugh Grant voice. Now, I can't really do it. I listen to uh, posh people talk a bit, but they're generally posh women. I don't really know any posh men, and there's a real difficulty with sounding posh as a man, because you have to um, sound masculine, but at the same time posh, which I think it's kind of in, but they're not, they're not, they don't go together that well. I mean, when you think man, 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 you don't think um, of a toffee man. Toff, um, toffee nose, is that where toff came from? Toffee nose. But you don't think of a man who um, likes the finer things in life. Think of a man's man. I've been down the factory in the quarry, beating people up down the pub, building cars. I'd like to note that I do realise real men don't sound like that either. Masculinity is a funny thing. So yeah, what kind of voice do I use if I get the interview? Which I doubt because I'm underqualified, inexperienced, and fully comp. But I might. And if I do, all glory to God, literally, because there's no way I'm qualified. Like, while we're here, all glory to God, I'm actually on this course. Don't have enough experience to really be on this course. Don't know how I managed to swing that. It was God. Slash experience that I had through church, which I went to because of my relationship with God. Yeah, it's all God. Brilliant. Um, it must be unsettling for you if you're watching this and you don't believe in God when I speak about God with um, like with a real person. Um, I'd just like to say I acknowledge that. And um, and I see where you're coming from. I can see where a bit weird about you. I acknowledge that. But, you know, I'm not going to apologise. But I acknowledge it. Live long and prosper.